Hey, what's up guys? On this video, we're actually gonna be swapping out the coilovers on my King suspension. I currently have 500s and I'm gonna be swapping out to the 700s. And originally I did not plan to have the bumper or the extra added weight. So after I have everything installed, I started to see the front end dive a little bit. So I want to go ahead and correct that problem, get the 700 pounds installed and see if that's gonna help fix that issue. And I'm also gonna be letting you know how the ride is before and after as well. So let's go ahead and measure up the front to see if there's gonna be a big difference. It's currently sitting at 37 inches. And the rears are about a 39 and a half. So we'll go ahead and get this installed. We'll measure it afterwards. And make sure you guys, if you guys haven't done so already, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys hit like. Let's go ahead and dive into the install. We're gonna go ahead and remove the shock. Uh, we'll first release the upper control arms. We actually have it tied down to hold the uh, spindles in place so it doesn't damage the ABS line. We'll release the three bolts up top. Now we'll remove the king reses. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the uh, 550s and the 700. That's a spring compression tool that we'll be using. Now we've gone ahead and marked um, exactly where the current um, king is sitting so that when we replace the shock or the springs, it's gonna be in the exact same spot. All right, these are the 550s right here, and these are the 700s, so as you can see, it's much thicker. Same height, much thicker. Gonna be a different ride, but I'm gonna be able to hopefully uh, get more lift in the front. Now that we've had the 700 pound springs inside, we're gonna go ahead and slowly uh, decompress it and release the uh, springs. We didn't have our king tool, so we're just gonna go ahead and use a Allen key and uh, tighten that way. And there you go. Now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the shock suspension. Now putting the resins back into the clamps. Now tighten the three bolts up top. We're gonna use the assistance of the jack to help move the front sway bar. We're gonna use this so that we can remove uh, the front sway bar and then it'll line up a lot easier. We're actually in the process of adding the Docker KDSS system to correct that fix. So we're gonna show you a quick preview of what the uh, adapter does to the KDSS system right there. It fixes the angle, angle there so it's not gonna wear out the bushings as much. I'm gonna show you uh, the, my car, what we're working on. Now that the front sway is disconnected, it's gonna line up a lot easier. We're gonna go ahead and use a torque wrench to uh, torque this. I believe it was uh, 72 pounds. Now don't forget to connect the brake line. Uh, after we get this side done, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the driver's side. We use the ratchet strap to hold the shock and the ABS line in place.
Now we'll repeat the process on this side and we're actually going to get this side done a lot quicker. We're, we've got more experience since doing the other side. We're not as rusty. So this side goes in a lot quicker. Right, we removed the vehicle off the jack uh, seems a bit high up front so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just drive the car forward and backward a bit so that it'll settle in and it should level out a bit so we've gotten the car settled in uh, we're gonna go ahead and measure 30 and three quarters Initially, the first thing that I'm noticing is that the car is slimmer. It's a little bit more upright. It's not flared out on the bonnet as much because the springs are helping the shocks uh, stay uh, upright and less pressure and it's working a lot less. Regarding the ride, it does feel a little, little bit more stiff. The turns are a little bit more um, stiff as well. It's not it's not eating the turns as much um, but it's not bad at all um, i think it's an improved ride in my opinion i didn't really i didn't crank the uh i didn't crank the kings or adjust it at all because it's and i'm already getting an extra uh, two inches so is that right about 38 three four In regards to uh, the driving perspective, it's a bit higher, two inches of course to get up. Sorry for my dirty car. And the, overall the car feels a lot bigger. I'm feeling the car more, it's higher in the front, it doesn't nosedive. When I'm on the freeway, I know that the car is not faster or anything like that, but it feels like it, it, it doesn't struggle as much to to pick up the nose, the front end, if that makes sense. So far I'm loving it, but again, it's only been about 10 miles that I've put on it. I need to test it out some more, take it on a trip. So make sure you guys keep tuning in. I'll, I'll put another update on this drive, let you guys know how it's gonna be doing after I uh, take it out again. So I'll catch you guys on that next one. Thanks for tuning in guys. See you later.